We have created three logos for Fiona. She asked for inspiration when it comes to creating a pizza logo. This is the first one that we've created. And this is the second one that we've created. And this is the last one that we've created with somebody biting into the pizza. And this is the one we're going to be doing together. However, same principle with number two and number three. Let's jump in and create. So you're going to create a blank canvas and you're going to select a logo canvas. You're going to go to your elements and you're going to search for pizza graphic. You're welcome to create a graphic yourself. However, I found this nice graphic that I thought we could use for our video today. So you click on it once and the graphic ends up looking like that. We want just a little piece to create a logo for Fiona. So what we're going to do, we're going to crop. We're going to click on crop and you're going to take away half of this pizza. It doesn't allow you to crop the whole thing. So we're going to be clever about it. You're going to click on done. You're going to make this a little bit big. And then you're going to go to your elements and you're going to go to your shapes. You're going to take a rectangle shape. You click on it once or you could press rectangle R on your keyboard. You change color to the same color of whatever page that you're designing. If you're on a white page, you would make it white. And then you would hide the second part of your graphic like that so that you only have that piece of slice. You can lock this so that it does not disturb your design when you're busy designing. You go to your elements and then you go to your lines and shapes and then you're going to scroll down and look for the sign shape that where you're going to put in the name of this business. So this rounded square, we're going to use that and then we're going to size it. And I like this color of the pizza crust. So I'm going to change this to the pizza crust. You would click on color. And if you want to pick the color, you're going to select the pick and then you go pick that exact color for the sign of the shop that you would like to create for. Next, you're going to add T for text and then you're going to type the name of the company or the pizza place that you're designing for. And we're going to make the size of this to be exactly the same to fit in there. And we're going to duplicate. We're going to make it bold. And we're going to make the color exactly as the crust so that it fits nicely in there. Second last thing, we're going to add more text. And we're going to tell people when this establishment was created or established. The last thing you're going to do is to create bite sizes to make the audience want to come in and eat the pizza. And you're going to create bites on the sign as well as on the pizza. How you do that, you're going to click on the circle. You're going to change the circle's color to exactly as the color of the design. You're going to change the size. And you start creating bites on the slice of pizza. And you're going to duplicate that. Control C, Control V. And you're busy creating bites. You want to bite on the sign as well. Just a little bit. And there's your design for your pizza place, Fiona. I hope you like it. Uh, you could now download this and go to Photo P and convert this to a 3D. We're going to quickly do that. But in the meantime, you could create very similar using the, the bakers are going to kill me. This thing that you flatten the bake 
that you flatten your dough with and you add your, estab your established date over there. Or you could use a full pizza with your name in there and you add that roller baker thingy and you add the date that it was established. So these are the three designs that we came up with that you could create for yourself. So there's your 2D logo done and dusted. If you want to convert this to a 3D logo, then you need to change the covers that we've used here to white. So you need to make sure that the cover that we've used is white and those bite sizes are also white. And then you're going to download it as a transparent background, but you're not done. If you, if you want to go 3D, you need to put in an extra effort. So you're going to download it as a transparent background. And once it has downloaded as a transparent background, you're going to add an extra page where you're going to drag this pizza downloaded file of yours to your design. Once it has loaded, you're going to size it. If you want a full tutorial of what I'm doing, go watch the RM video that I've done where we were doing exactly what I'm doing now. I know I'm doing it a bit fast now, but I do it step by step over there. But once you've loaded it and you've sized it and you're happy, then you click on the image then you go to edit image, then you remove the background so that it takes away the white. If you don't have remove background, you can trial it for 30 days using the link below. Then you're going to click on apply and then you are happy because the, the background has been removed. Then you're going to go to share and you're going to download your page, which is page five. You're going to click on share you're gonna go download i'm gonna download it as a transparent and i want page five and then you're gonna jump in on photo p and select a psd template double click on where it says your logo here hide the text drag the 2d logo that you've just designed it is nice and transparent now size it quite nicely the way that you would like it to look like and then go file save as smart object and then you click once where it says your logo and your logo looks like that amazing stunning bite size interesting and you export it as a png and then your pizza logo is done where it shows that somebody was biting on it. You can go and watch that video now where we, I'm showing you the technique of how to take away um, shapes so that you have a transparent background when you are designing. I will see you on the next video.